Hello everybody, I'm going to be making an unboxing video on the Breville Barista Pro machine. This here is middle of the line, more above the Barista Express and right underneath the Barista Touch. The main reason I got this machine over the Barista Express is because of the enhanced features it has. It has a LCD screen, improved burr grinder, and it has a faster warm-up time for the pressurized water. Now this box here is weighing around 27 pounds. It's quite the heavy machine here, but it feels like it's pretty good quality, so let's get it started. All right, let's Time to get this box open here. There should be a tab here. Pulls up from the top. It's a nice little picture. Master every moment. So it says, please do not return to store. Call before returning. That's usually what higher quality products say. Okay, so we start off with the uh, handle here for putting the espresso grounds in. It's pretty heavy. Looks like it come, the espresso grounds go up here in the top and they pour out from the right and from the left. Let's put this down. And we've got some instructions here. So quick start guide on how to get the machine started. Cleaning instructions before each use. Limited warranty, manual book. It's gonna be coming very handy. Next we have, will be, looks like this goes in the water tank. So you can put the, the, the month that needs the filter to be replaced. And it comes with the filter for the water. So if you do have hard water in your house, you're not building up scale in the in the water tank on the inside and when you have scale that basically uh, degrades the quality and you have to descale the machine and I have a Keurig that gets annoying after a while almost hard to avoid basically unless you use bottled water when you refill your machines so we have a cleaning kit here The razor. I'll open up all of these here in just a moment. 54 millimeter filter baskets. And it looks like this is the magnetic tamper. So the tamper basically, you put the ground up espresso uh, grounds inside of here, and the tamper basically compresses those espresso grounds so it's nice and even. Here's a magnet. All right, so what is left is the machine. Let's get down to business. Okay, got that out of the box. Let's get this foam out of here. So, damaging anything. There's a cable stuck in here. Comes with a milk jug here, so when you steam your milk, this is what it's used for. Okay. Lots of plastic. Okay, now we have the espresso machine. Take all this plastic off.
And we have the power cable down here. Put that to the side. Look at that. That is the Breville Espresso Barista Pro with the LED LCD screen. Uh, grind amount, how much you want to come out of the burr grinder. Here's the burr grinder. Not bad. Looks like it can hold quite a few grounds. Nice. This is a rubber seal at the, on the top of the burr grinder so it keeps your espresso beans fresh for a longer period of time. We've got the power button up here. This knob here on the left, it looks like it's gonna be used for adjusting the, how fine you want your coffee grounds to be. Here is a button for one shot of espresso. Here's another button for if you want two shots of espresso. There's a button for the menu. And down below, looks like we have an, uh, a removable drip tray here. So steam water goes down here. Here's the underneath side. Ooh, looks like it all comes apart. So you can basically see it just holds a lot of leftover water and you just basically dump that out into your sink. Down here underneath, right behind the drip tray, you have a storage compartment here. So then you basically put your espresso handle here. You It comes with multiple pieces for the different types of espresso you want. And basically the other ones you don't use, you just put down here. All right, let's get started on opening the rest of the pieces. My bad, I forgot to mention that there here in the back side is the water compartment. Now the filter goes on top of this piece right here and everything is taped down, so. Let's take all the tape off. Looks like you got a little bit of a handle. Not bad. So you can carry it to your sink. And you fill it up. Plug it back to down here. It fits snug. Easy peasy. Now this is the inside of the burr grinder. So a burr grinder compared to a blade grinder, a burr is more efficient on the quality of your espresso grounds. So if you do not have a burr grinder with your espresso machine, then you want to buy one on the side. And a blade grinder basically is just a blade. It spins around, it chops up the espresso beans, but it's not as efficient. You'll have larger, smaller pieces all mixed in. But this basically grinds and chews up all of the espresso beans into a fine powder to whatever your specifications can basically be. So this comes out here. You twist, comes out. This is how you clean your burr grinder. As you can see, it's squeaky clean. Not for long. Okay, let's put that back in. You just twist the lock. It's a little bit. There you go. Click. Something as simple as that. Let's see if there's anything on the right side. So this is your steam control. Looks like if you just want hot water, you move it to this setting right here. And if you want steam, you move it to the left. Um, everything's really hard to move. I'm guessing it's because it's not turned on and I don't want to force it because that might break it. Here is your steam wand. Has a little nice rubber grip here at the bottom. Basically, you get your cup. Let's open your up and cup. Now 
Nice stainless steel. So here's your stainless steel steam milk cup. Not bad. So you put your milk in here, doesn't matter what type of milk it is. You put underneath, you set it down. And once the machine says it's ready, you can change the setting to steam or if you just want water, um, you can want water for anything. And once you're done, you just pull it out and voila. All right, so here's a different view angle of the Breville espresso machine. Remember this is the tamper device, there's a magnet. Now that should fit right up here. Good place to keep it stored. You may be able to use it as well, just with it stuck up there. Now, if you want to fill this up with espresso beans, which are already ground, you basically set them, set this right here. Boop. And there's a button in there that detects once the handle is inserted. And you can see that right here. Not sure if it's shown on the camera, but basically you set it right here. And you basically, you start the grinding process. All the grounds go down and automatically fall into here. And once you're done, you push it up in the tool here and you push it in and voila. And then lastly, you stick it up here and you lock it in. That's how it goes. Okay, let's open the rest of the accessories. So this one here is the 54 millimeter filter baskets. So, looks like we open it like this. Aha. Now we have three single wall filters used with fresh ground coffee. This is a single wall filter, interesting. You can see how fine the holes are. That's how you get the best flavor when it comes to your espresso machine. Now there's a little bit of a, I don't know if there's residue, but of course you wanna just wash for everything with mild soap and water. Next here is, it says, I'm not missing, look for me in the porta filter. So it would be this here that's already inserted. Let's try and get this out. Quite, quite difficult. They really stick these in here. I'm sure with use, it will become easier to dismantle. Oh, all right, this is up. So this one has many, many holes. Okay, so we have two more filters to review. They're both called dual wall filters and you wanna use these with pre-ground coffee. So if you buy coffee at the store, that's already pre-ground, that's in, the, in, a, in a bag, or if you have a burr grinder on the side that you like to utilize and you don't wanna use the burr grinder that's already on the Breville espresso machine, that's what these are for. Single wall filters used with fresh ground coffee I'm assuming that this filter and the one that I just reviewed down here are meant to be used when you have the burr grinder already on the machine and you're gonna use that. So, four filters. And that storage compartment comes in with these. They fit perfectly. Of course, you're probably not going to use all four. You may, you may not. But when you do, pull it out, grab your filter, dual wall, single, and throw them all in here. Look at that, nice and clean. So here is the handle again. Uh, there's some rubber right here. That's So when you have your tamper, you want to bust out all of the, the grounds, 
adds a good amount of protection. So all the espresso goes down in this one hole. And like I said before, that buff will come out on each side so you can do dual shots or just one. Looks like, not sure if this is magnet. No, just, it's good balance. Just a good amount of weight to this. Next is the razor. Oh, look at that. So you tamp your grounds and you use the razor and you twist it in a, looks like a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. The razor. Precision does trimming tool. Just, oh, precision dose. Precision machined for 54 millimeter filter baskets. Interesting, never used one of these before. So I'm guessing you have your grounds in here already and you stick it in here and you just twist and it evenly distributes the coffee grounds. Nice, and this is metal. Feels like aluminum, it's very light. Next is the cleaning kit. So some sort of rubber stopper or maybe it goes on top of here. Definitely that's what the instructions are for. Also comes with uh, espresso machine cleaning tablets, nice. So you have two here. So when you want to clean your espresso machine, I'm guessing Maybe this is for descaling. That's what these two tablets are for. And I'm, and I'm betting you put these inside the, the water tank on the back and they dissolve. Next, you have a brush. Whoops. Breville brush. Not bad. Uh, these are a little plastic. These are plastic. So I'm guessing you use it for cleaning. And lastly, the one that fell is interesting. This one is sharp. So you have a pin here and you have a pin here. Um, this might be for, what I'm betting this is for, is to get coffee grounds that are stuck maybe. So you poke, poke this into the little holes I'm guessing. Okay, got that. So that's the rest of the cleaning kit. This is it for the machine. Thank you again for watching my video on unboxing this Breville Pro. Please subscribe, comment, like, and stay tuned for the next video on me demonstrating how to use the machine and what the quality of the espresso is like. Thank you.